organ donation and transplantation saves thousands of lives each year. However, the need for organs far exceeds the supply. QUAD, the Quality in Organ Donation Biobank, is a nationwide program providing a unique resource to support transplant research. Most organs are very valuable and they do function very well. However, of course, we have this persistent donor organ shortage. So therefore, a lot of centers have to accept older and higher risk donor organs. There's a lot of uncertainty about, is this really a good organ? Is it going to function? Will there be a problem for the recipient, yes or no? Our clinical ways of looking at the organ are not always sufficient. You need more detail. So we see like a footprint, but we need a fingerprint. And therefore we said, well, the only way to get such a fingerprint is get more data and material from the donor which we can research. And by having those organ samples in our biobank, we allow researchers to reduce the uncertainty and find better markers of this is a very good organ, this is suboptimal, we may have to do something to improve the donor organ, and so forth. Researchers can only use organ samples if they have permission from the donor or the donor's family. Specialist nurses support families when making these decisions. For me, the most important thing when supporting families is to take away some of the stress, some of the burden that they are feeling. Quite often, with regards to organ donation, people have already made a decision uh, that they want to donate. The important thing here is to give families time to think about these things and to come to the best decision for them. If they do change their mind uh, with any part of the consent, they are free to withdraw consent, and we make that very clear to them. If the patient or patient's family consent to quad research, samples of blood, urine and fluid from the lungs are collected, along with small tissue samples from the organs. The liver sample will be approximately the size of a matchstick head, the kidney sample the size of a grain of rice, and the spleen sample roughly the size of a sugar cube. These samples are labelled with unique barcodes, so they can be tracked while keeping the personal details of the donor anonymous. Samples are placed in a special quad box, and these boxes are transported from centres across the UK to the quad hub at the John Radcliffe Hospital in Oxford. The whole process is done very respectfully. We all know that there's a patient at the beginning and at the end of this. Uh, and also the Human Tissue Authority regulate any removal or movement of human tissue in the UK, and it's one of the most regulated areas. So I'd hope that people feel reassured that if they agree to their relatives having uh, tissue used for research and transplantation, that it's done in a way that is both correct and respectful. And it's certainly something that's at the front of our minds. Samples donated to the Quad Biobank are used by researchers across the world to improve outcomes for transplant patients. Our research aims to identify markers uh, to better assess the quality of organs. And the outcome of this will be that more organs are transplanted and uh, the number of patients waiting in the transplant list will reduce. The way research works is it's just this huge platform and every small piece of research adds onto it. And then at some point, somebody makes a jump. And so Quad will add to that platform of knowledge and help drive these innovations and move research and patient care forward. All of the treatments and therapeutics that we have today are here thanks to research, and generally families, the next of kin, are very happy to, to support that. I think we're one of the few donation and transplantation biobanks in, in the world with such an enormous wealth of data and, and material. My hope is, of course, that there's more research being done with good publications uh, and good discussions between professionals to see how we can improve the quality of the organ donor and therefore have more and better organs available for transplantation. <laughs>